Hello, my lovely Taurus. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading. And this reading will be for the month of January 2020. This reading starts from the time you view this reading till the end of January. For some of you, it could be just for January. For some of you, it could be for a day. For some of you, it could be for a week or even a year. Take it accordingly, Taurus. Sometimes I might speak directly to you. Sometimes I might speak with a cross watcher. If you are drawn to see this video or coming here by the title, here is a message for you. All right, loves. Yes, we are in 2020 going. Going strong will be a very challenging year for many of us. A lot of things to be clear up and a lot of things to put in place and move forward with what we choose. I definitely see a lot of blessings coming towards Taurus. Also, I see relationships for those of you who are not really have a good foundation. I see some changes. Also, for some of you, there is good changes coming towards you. Taurus, I want to thank each of you who joined the channel. If you didn't subscribe, make sure you do, because this year will be a very different year, different messages, more messages, more accurate messages. We'll use different decks, different energies. Also, my spirits will deliver better things for all of you. So keep up with this. Also, if you like truly this channel, this messages, thumbs up and if you want to comment I want to know the feedback if you want me to do something else or more or what you prefer the reading to be just write it down also many thanks and beyond blessed for those of you who trusted my services and book a reading with me in 2019 and looking forward 2020 thank you all of you all right today loves will use a two oracle decks one is the wisdom of the oracle for overall advice for you for this month one is a romance angel card will do in your relationships could be both in relationships because i cannot really know what's coming up because spirit could give me messages regards your relationship regards your money regards your health regards your career studies whatever message comes i will deliver here because i'm just a messenger we'll use the mystic monday tarot as your overall energy, our right hand wise beautiful deck as your whole reading and will get clarified from a writer deck. Also, I got all the signs here for all of you and we'll choose four of them, okay, with who you might deal. If one of the signs you are dealing, stick up with me till the end so you'll get some messages from these people, okay. Let's see here. First thing first, let's choose the science you might deal here. Taurus and whoever is dealing the Taurus. Sun, moon, rising or science or Venus science. Emperor, this is an Aries. Taurus and Aries. If you deal with an Aries, stick with me. The next one. Moon, Piscean energy. If you're dealing Taurus with a Pisces, look at the end lovers gemini energy and the last one the last one for the taurus taurus and who else is in here the devil capricorn energy okay we have a fire sign a water sign an air and an earth that's beautiful all right let's see here from the wisdom of the oracle What's the advice for this month for you, Taurus? Let's see here. Sun, moon, rising signs. What the message is behind here. Oof. I don't know why for you loves are sticking the cards. All right. Number seven. To the sea. And underneath we have truths to be told. Somebody from afar might come towards you and want to say something. Yeah, 
I definitely see here somebody is looking for direction, somebody you've been dealing at the soul level, very much connected at the soul level. This person is kind of, they see you all over the place. It's kind of whatever they are hitting, whatever they are going, they see you. And it's like all the, all the roads, all the streets are coming towards you. Like all the, the thoughts, everything, they see you. That might be you. Flip the energies. But let's see here. Number seven. What's that mean? To the sea. The essential meaning of the card. Being in flow. Returning to source. Recognizing how pieces fit together. A natural pattern of events. For, that, for, for some of you, you need to go extra mile to do something. For some of you, you feel like your life is like a puzzle and you start like building block by block or puzzle by puzzle. The relationship message behind this, there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself? You combine goals and desire to steer the ship can you both transcend your personality and allow the partnership to form its own identity? It's your own energy. Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. For many of you, let go of those control issues. Let the energy come to you. Allow it. Let it go. What you feel is like, oh, I need to keep it this way. Just let it go. Many times when you try to put everything, it's like somebody, I'll give you an example. Somebody has this OCD situation. They need to put everything in a order, in a place. And they always need to be that to can be like their way. Don't do that to yourself. Because that's go to the mile and to the obsessive situation. I feel here letting it go that will flow that will be easier on you it is a relationship here you might have with somebody that just trying to do it yourself everything will drain your energy so pay attention to that Taurus let's see here the the romance angels what is telling you let's see Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. For some of you who try to change a person, don't do it. A person will change or will improve if they want. Nobody is changing for anybody if they don't want or they are forced. So keep in mind that. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. If you truly love this person, let them be themselves. Also, if you are cross watcher for Taurus, let the Taurus be themselves. Keep that open minded. Because some of you, you might feel like this person is so different than me. I'm attracted to them, but I want them to be one way. That will not be so awesome between you two if you'll be the same. Okay? Let's see here, loves, what the Mystic Monday Tarot want to say as overall energy. As you always know, I do a pre-shuffle prior to every reading so we can get more accurate energy, clearing the energy. So we can get as much as possible the best messages for us. You know, loves, the channel I created and when I did create it and how I want to keep it positive. I bring positivity. I bring messages. My spirit wants to share the best of me and the best of them, the best messages. If you are inclined to see this channel, you are about to enter a very happy family, a very nurturing Okay, because we give clarity, we give nurturing, we give good energy and good, vi good vibes. Okay, let's see here for the Taurus. So 
Seven of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, and Judgment. I definitely see here, whatever you are resisting, you need to just like make up your mind, okay? Because Six of Swords, you're leaving something behind, something you've been like, I'm um, fighting, I'm resisting it. It's time to let that go. So you will get back the balance you need here, okay? Six of Wands is somebody who is glorious, who is successful. And I feel here judgment, you do know it, but also is regarding somebody from your past life. You might deal with somebody from your past life, but also what I'm feeling here, it is a past life debt you need to pay Taurus or a lesson from a past life you need to. Whatever you hold back, whatever you hold on, you need to release. So you could be the one moved forward, happy, successful. And I feel here with the judgment here, for you to be successful, what, whatever you want into your life, you need to just let it go. Let it go, whatever it is. For some of you, you literally move homes you didn't want to do it, but you you will do it. It is a change in your energy. It's like if it was very bad last year, this year will be such an awesome year. Starting from now, okay? And underneath we have strength. Dare to believe it, Leo energy. But, oop, let's see here, loves. My lamp here is falling down but let's see here for the lovely Taurus what's the message what's the storyline I always say the science for each of you but stick with the storyline mostly because the science I'm placing here saying here they might be in your chart or in the person's chart you are dealing or people you are dealing okay if comes up that you're dealing with this signs I'm very happy and yeah the messages are for you let's see here what well, we got for the Taurus overarching energy we have Knight of Cups an offer of love coming towards you probably from a water sign here Knight of Swords Moon we have moon twice here, if you deal with the Pisces. Here he is, or she is here. They want something stable with you, or you want something stable with them. Here you are. Within one month, could be one month, we have, I'm recording this prior to Christmas, so we have a new moon, I believe it's in Cancerian, if I'm not wrong. And that's on the Christmas day for some of you. Who celebrate Christmas for some of you is just number 25 the 25th of the month but I feel here till the next moon or within one month okay and I feel here whatever you hold back I feel here whatever offer is coming I don't see you very much seeing it or wanting it or expecting it somebody who is coming to your life it's like they see you very focused on other things than love for some reason. It's kind of they are afraid even to express their love. They feel like you will not get them, but they really want something. It's like that struggle, like I want the Taurus and I want something stable. This person really wants something stable with you, but you feel like something is not quite a bit right here six of wands again it is movement you think very very much here why this person we have here also um, a Leo strong Leo somebody left you in the past somebody who 
who didn't wear, who've been very in and out or didn't commit to you, somebody left. And I feel here you are very much not interested in that thing. But we have here an opportunity. It's somebody from another past life. This person is single. They do manifest you or you manifest them. And they are coming. The universe is offering you this love if you want to take it because it is coming. And they're coming here for a stable commitment here. You just need to be very honest to what you truly want. Okay? And why I say that, we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords is missing. The truth to be told. The honesty. Honesty from your side. I feel here you are very much thinking. It is an air sign from the past. Okay? And that person, air sign, fire sign from your past that didn't work and it's hard for you to move forward like on the surface you show yes I'm moving forward that person might come back to you when they see you you have somebody new but I feel here somebody in the past didn't stick with you where the energy was not they could left you or they could be called towards you or they, they didn't felt that that relationship goes the, the way it's supposed to. Or it was a very short-lived relationship. I feel here you didn't let them go. But I feel here you will. Because you have something new coming towards you. Something way, way better. Okay? You could deal with two people in the past. And now it's time for you to, to move on from those energies. Okay? But it shows me here, like, somebody is offering you something, but you just feel like not really interested, okay? And that's how we go in here, keep an open-minded. Somebody could be very different than what you expect. You might feel like, nah, I'm not really interested in this person. They seem very boring or things like that. But actually, this one will offer you something, okay? Also, that's why we have to the sea, go with the flow. You know, do not say Taurus right away, I'm not interested with you. Or, nah, this person is not, not me. Don't do that to yourself. Because sometimes the treasure comes to your life is when you feel is not. So keep an open mind, okay? Let's see here why this Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles... I feel here, who was in the past didn't give you what you truly needed and wanted here. Empress. They, they see a very much like, wow, energy. Could be a Libra. Could be a fellow Taurus. But I feel here, they could be married and couldn't offer you something stable. But I feel here, the attraction and love was very strong. I feel here sometimes you are very closely thinking of them and they are thinking of you too. Why the moon? Yes. For some of you, you end the relationship with somebody because of the secrets, lies. And that person could even be at the distance from you. Could be something very short-lived here. Nine of swords here. Six of cups. You very often think of somebody from your past. Also, you, you feel like that was somebody very strong for you. Very strong soulmate here. You want to talk with them. But also, I see somebody new coming to your life. And that could be a real deal for you. Spirit says, keep an open mind and talk. You might feel this person comes here just for sex or intimacy. But they are real here. Fire sign here, Leo or a Sag. You might feel they're coming for sex, but I definitely see here the universe is blessing you and is telling you it is about time for you to get to know each other. Okay? This person, again, with the Scorpio energy death, they are very different than what you experienced in the past. Okay? Four of Pentacles. Why you are not so sure to get it or not to get to give this person a chance or not. They are very much like not, not your type person. Queen of Wands. 
but they are sexy. It's like somebody awesome, but you're not knowing. For some of you, you're still holding back on somebody from your past. Okay, somebody who you had a lot of passion and been very attracted to them. But I feel here a chorus energy here. You want this person, but you want them to be your way. It's like, why they cannot be the way I want them? Like, you want them to be more, like, passionate, more different. Like, a little more, like, okay, let's go, let's move, let's, let's do it. Wow, fool. Definitely, you are holding back to have a new beginning with somebody awesome. Just because you're still holding back on somebody who ended. It's like you holding back to a dead relationship here. Even you want it and manifesting. You're very confused. I don't know what to do. Emotionally, I'm not in balance. But I feel here, again, six of ones, three times from different decks. Definitely you will overcome here. Don't stick with this. Just go with the flow. There are a lot of people who wants to be with you. They see you, somebody awesome. Yeah. Once you decide to move forward with this Cancerian energy, you will move fast into a great relationship here. Magician, you manifested that. You manifest something new. It is coming. And I feel here that will lead to commitment here. Could be with the water sign. Doesn't need to. Okay, so don't stick with what was in the past. Okay, even if you think what they think of me, what they, why they did that to me, that person's still thinking, and they know they cannot offer you what you want from them, because I know you want something stable with them, but they cannot offer to you. Let's see here, loves, if you deal with an Aries. Let's see here if you deal with an Aries here. Ten of Wands. This person is very busy with their self, with other things. Also, could be a yending between you two. Also, what I'm feeling here, this person has his his or her hands full. They have their own plate. It's it's too too much. But I feel here eventually they will come back and eventually they will realize whatever they are hitting is not the right direction. But I feel here they are doing so because they've been hurt or been a lot of hurt between you two. They, they absolutely love you. You might feel they were not honest to you or they feel that you were not honest with them. If you deal with the Pisces here... If you deal with the Pisces, they are waiting on you, they are looking for you, they want you back, they see you as a twin energy, they feel like the connection between you two could be something awesome, they see you the one, they absolutely love you. It's a lot of love between this person and you, but they feel it was a misopportunity. Whatever been offered was not what they needed or not what you needed. They feel like there was inconsistency here between you two. Somebody was not one somebody didn't want to commit or somebody want to stay free as much as they could. They feel it was the misopportunity because one of you didn't want to settle down. If you deal with a Gemini here, this person want a new beginning. Could be a difference of age here. Also, this person sees you the one. Wow. Could be a sudden uh, change in their life. Also, they could suddenly contact you after a long period of time. Also, they want a new beginning. Could be a sudden breakup between you two. They don't really know where they stand with you, but they want back here. Also, whatever been between you two made this person to slow down in their of doing things. Like this person 
is still very much thinking of you and hoping one day that will be a new beginning between you two. If you deal with a Capricorn here, this person very much wants to be with you. Two, four of Wands. They see an opportunity here with you. They want another, another opportunity. But he feels like, he or she feels like they offer you something, but it's kind of you use them or you feel them. Somebody have been dealing, somebody have been very jealous here of somebody else. Is is a very jealous person or you are jealous. Also feels like somebody very much lied about things here or feel like they are too secretive. Somebody took advantage of somebody else here, but there's too much of secrecy in this case. But they still see an opportunity here with you. This person still thinking of you, yes, but they feel like you're moving on from them. They feel like you'll not stick with them too long. Yeah, absolutely. You're not waiting for them anymore. And they know that. They feel like if they will contact you again, that will be a dispute. Also, it's kind of a lost case here. Yes. They feel like if you break up with them or move on from them. I see, they see you are moving on from them. You are focused on other things than, than this person. Also, they see you are more in a higher vibration than they are. They see you very awesome. More accomplished than they are. More stable than they are. Okay. But let's hear an advice for all of you. One advice. Seven of Cups. I see here a, not, a lot of opportunities coming towards you. Love, money, career. And you need to check to choose what is good for you princess of swords learning things choosing what is right for you looking for better i definitely see here there are a lot of people watching you from afar wanted to know you more you you have a choice loves and the emperor there is one specific person here who is watching you from afar, that, but they feel like you live your life as it is. Also, Spirit says, look, because they are, it is from all those options, whatever people they are out there, it is somebody who is the one for you. And I feel here you already love this person, the lovers. You already love this person. Yeah. Yes. All right, loves. This is what I got for you. And I hope you like it and enjoy it and feel helpful. And if you want more readings like this, let me know. And yeah, happy January. Happy start of this 2020. Many blessings to all of you. And till next time. Bye, loves.